We're glad you're here. On this channel, you may get the most latest information and untold tales about the British royal family. Today's story is as follows. You never knew the deepest royal family secrets. The most famous family in the world is the British royal family. Although they are undoubtedly loved all around the world based on their popularity, they have a rich history that spans more than a thousand years. Upon gaining knowledge of a few facts about the imperial family, this does cause us to find myself asking about the family history. But if you detect them back in the beginning of the English dynasty, you will discover a lot of innumerable hidden allegations and dark secrets that the royal family would never want the general public to become aware of. We're going to dive into some unseen, dark truths regarding the royals in today's episode. The relationship of Prince Charles and his lover, while he was still wedded to Princess Diana, ranks first. The notion that Prince Charles was engaged in a relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles was first made public in 1992 as a result of the release of the so-called tapes, a transcript of something like a phone conversation in which the prince and his mistress were recorded discussing their illegal relationship. Nevertheless, despite the fact that the recordings were initially designed to vanish, this episode hurt the royal family's prestige. It was also known at this time that full lines had been wiretapped, not just between Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles before either of them got married. They eventually reappeared and it rapidly became apparent that whole minds had been leaked to the media not only between Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles, before either one of them decided they'd to get married. The duo initially linked in 1970, and there were reports that they were dating at the moment, but had split up before beginning their romance. After that, they decided to get married in 2005 over the opposition of many. Today, the pair is still together. Prince Charles and monetary bribes are number two, Prince Charles' repeated exposure to being seen collecting substantial sums of money has raised controversy. In June 2022, it was made public that he had taken three cash gifts from a previous Qatari Prime Minister totaling 1 million euros each between 2011 and 2015. In a prior occasion, he received hundreds of thousands of pounds in return for the donor's approval to live in the UK. No one is asserting that any of these contributions were illegal, and it appears that the money was donated straight to the princess charities. But you have to ponder why someone would give him money in this manner and the number of prior times it has happened, that not yet have been disclosed. Number 3. Edward VII's Dubious Friendships Throughout January 1936 until the end of that year, when he stepped down in order to wed Wallace Simpson, an American divorced mother, outside the law, Edward VII ruled as monarch of the UK and of the empire. The one of the most embarrassing events that occurred throughout the 20th century's monarch was this one. The scariest thing Edward was participated in wasn't this. At the time, he was the head of the Church of England. The establishment actually wanted him to renounce the monarchy for another reason that had absolutely nothing to do with the fact that he was planning to wed a divorced mother. On the contrary, he is commonly regarded as the romantic king who sacrificed everything for what his emotions demanded. Adolf Hitler launched a determined attempt to woo Edward since he was good friends with him and a passionate Nazi supporter. Later, discovered documentation indicated that the Nazi leader's ultimate goal was to conquer Britain and install Edward as a puppet king. He urged that Germany bomb England into oblivion, according to other evidence. It was becoming clear that the establishment did all in its power to prevent Hitler from taking full advantage of this toxic relationship, including trying to conceal it and taking matters into their own hands. Number 4 Prince John and an Exiled Life Prince John's birth took place in 1905, making him the youngest of King George V and Queen Mary VI's children. Prince George was sixth in line when his father became king in 1910, which worried the family. He had already been identified as having severe autism a year earlier, 
and during the subsequent several years, his condition got worse. Because the royals placed a high priority on upholding their national reputation than they did on the well-being of one of their members. The last chance anyone saw Prince John was when he was brought to reside at Sandringham House in 1916. He passed away in January 1919 at the age of 13, and very little is documented about his stay there or the treatments he got. Even after everyone had given the family the benefit of the doubt for many years, yet another piece of proof came to light. Based on a letter sent by Prince Edward, who seems to be 11 years older than his sibling, he thought that Prince John's passing was slightly more than a painful inconvenience and that he contributed more. Only after his passing was it revealed that he had more in common with animals than anybody else, that he was unwell and that he had died as a result of a violent seizure. Number 5. Robert Dudley's Wife's Enigmatic Demise According to legend, Robert Dudley and Queen Elizabeth I had a love affair around 1558. The difficulty was Dudley's prolonged marriage to Amy Robb, but it seemed like fate, or Amy Robb's murder, took care of it for the hidden couple. Two years later, Amy's icy body was found at the bottom of a narrow stairway. He immediately broke her neck because he wanted to develop his friendship with the Queen further. Rumours circulated that Dubby was to blame, as he was to be anticipated the scandalous event shook England. The Queen allegedly stopped her relationship with Dudley because they couldn't be married at the same time, according to several stories. The identities of the other people were being mentioned. Some people argue that Amy committed suicide because she was grieving, while others assert that she fell and tragically died. Amy was reportedly diagnosed with breast cancer, and it's probable that she became unwell after falling down the stairs. Despite the fact that he was a prime suspect, it was subsequently revealed that Amy had two brain traumas, which suggest that she had been hit before landing. According to the autopsy report, despite this, there is still a lot of mystery concerning his wife's passing. Number 6. The Throne's Unfound Successor is Number 6. History is replete with examples of the length of individuals will go in order to gain control, the path of English and British history was, however, changed in the 1480s by one of the most terrifying stories ever told. Following Edward IV's death in April 1483, it was stated, prior to becoming king, Edward V, he requested his brother Richard Duke of Gloucester to take on the role of Lord Protector for his 12-year-old son, Edward. Instead, Richard put Edward and his younger brother to the Tower of London, which was among the largest mysteries in English history. Their uncles were murdered and transferred somewhere at the same time. Regardless of the intentions to the crown, the jail finally transformed into a royal palace. In Edward's case, everything was frequently delayed. Edward was declared to be the lawful heir under Richard's legislation, not the previous king's illegitimate son. The two youngsters in the tower disappeared once Richard changed his name to Richard III. Up until 1674, when workers discovered a box containing the bones of two infants under a stairway, there were speculations regarding what had happened to them. The boys' bones, being on display at Westminster Abbey, suggest that Richard had them killed in order to save his crown. But it's still not apparent if they belong to the guys or not. Number 7. Sarah Ferguson with an unidentified male any member of the royals would know much better than to go shirtless or carry on their relationship in front of people while on holiday since the paparazzi never sleep. When the Daily Mirror released pictures of the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson, sunning with a guy in the south of France in 1992, it served as a reminder for celebrities to constantly be on watch. She missed that memo. This was quite scandalous because she was still married to Prince Andrew, Duke of York. Even though their marriage was thought to be in disarray at the time, Sarah gained a reputation for having affairs with several men and was labelled an adulterer when live and colour photos hit the newsstands. In addition to being photographed by photographers in her panties, Sarah was also seen with Texan financial advisor John Bryan. The two looked to be connected as they shared a bed, 
despite the public's outrage at the pictures showing Brian licking on Sarah's toes. The French newspaper Paris Week and a photojournalist were convicted of photographing and publishing Sarah's swimming shots without her consent in 1996, which led to her and Prince Andrew's separation. The royal family considered her to be a source of shame. They had to pay around $100,000 according to the agreement. Number 8. The Duke of Kent Prince George, the Duke of Kent, was the fourth son to be conceived to King George V and Queen Mary. Because he was later in the royal line of succession, Prince George never intended to become king and instead attended the Royal Navy in the 1920s. He joined the Royal Air Force as an officer after being named Duke of Kent in 1934 and lived an opulent and careless life. There were reports that he had relationships with a number of men and women and participated in a range of sexual acts that were illegal at the time. His family made every effort to keep him hidden from public. There were also claims of drug use, including morphine and cocaine. He was also said to have had a large number of offspring. The Duke of Kent suspected ties to the Nazi government, like those of the, his older brother, Edward VII, are among the most important royal mysteries of recent decades. He and 14 men took a Royal Air Force flying boat from Scotland to Iceland while doing non-operational tasks in 1942. However, the plane crashed before it could leave Scotland, murdering everyone except one person on board. It was George who later went away with the age of 39. Moreover, there are several gaps in the story's storyline. The crash site also featured an unidentified body, raising the question of whether the accident was meant to keep the Duke from bringing dishonor to the family or whether it was a covert assignment given that he was found with Swedish cash that would have been useless in Iceland. Number 9. Princess Anne's initial husband had a second kid with another woman. Princess Anne was wed to Mark Phillips, and the two of them had two children. Meanwhile, Mark had a third baby, one that he was supposedly had while outside, according to Peter Phillips and Sarah Tyndall. His union with Anne Felicity Phillips is reported to be Mark Phillips' daughter, and she now resides in New Zealand, but apparently grew up with Zara and Peter on the 700-acre estate in the 1990s. Heather Tonkin's mother made an effort to have Mark make a fatherhood claim. While concurrently offering her £6,000 a year for five years, he rejected. Why do you suppose he spent so much money on her? Probably to silence her. Or maybe she was his daughter. Number 10. Queen Victoria and Prince Albert Many people make jokes about how royal families are inbred to maintain their position of authority and prevent the introduction of undesirable lines. Yet, these jokes are true. It is certainly true that she celebrated her 17th birthday in April of 1836, the first time Queen Victoria and Prince Albert interacted. They met her uncle, King Leopold of Belgium, who also happened to be Prince Albert's uncle, and fell in love right away. Even despite them being cousins, the two reportedly fell in love nearly right away, based on memoirs. However, since it is against convention for someone to propose to a queen, they were unable to be married until the year after she got to the throne. They had previously only been together twice before, in October 1839 when they reconnected. They eventually gave birth to nine children and 42 grandchildren, many of whom wedded into foreign royal families, making her wealthy. The closeness environment which earned them the moniker Grandmother of Europe did not seem to impede their capacity to expand their family. Number 11. The sisters of Prince Philip were Nazis. Prince Philip was conceived in Greece, and so many British monarchy admirers are known that his family had several deaths during the course of his life. After his mother's insanity diagnosis, Philip's father relocated to Monte Carlo with his mistress. After his sisters all did get married, he was left alone. He claimed that his dad was in southern France at the point that his family disintegrated. His sister wed a German prince and later became friendly with and connected to the Nazis. Another sister, Cecily, and her husband went to the wedding of his other sister, Sophie, to the director of the Third Reich's Ministry of the Air Forces. One among Sophie's children was indeed given the surname Karl Adolf. 12. 
Nerissa and Catherine. The British monarchy has a long heritage of taking extraordinary measures to suppress damaging information. Although we are aware of this, what occurred to Nerissa and Catherine may serve as the saddest example of it. Up until a 1963 issue of the magazine of Berks's Nobility, a book that describes the ancestral roots of the British gentry, it was believed that the girls had passed away in 1940 and 1961, even though they were actually born in 1919 and 1926 respectively, to John Herbert Bowes Lyon, the brother of Lady Elizabeth Bowes Lyon, the mother of Queen Elizabeth II. There were very little information available on them, but it was found in 1987 that they were both still alive and had both been residents of the Earl's World Mental Hospital, formerly famous as the Asylum for Idiots, since 1941. Instead of being a rehabilitation institution, this facility mostly operated as a disposal location for the dysfunctional family members. Nerissa died in 2014 at the age of 86, and Catherine died in 1986 at the age of 66, both with only hospital personnel present at their funerals. Both girls were labelled as being mentally retarded, and it appears that none of them had ever learned to speak. During their time in the hospital, neither their family nor the royals visited them once, and they only got the £125 they gave the hospital each year. The final revelation is today's video, is, well, that. Please share your opinions with us in the section below. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. To make sure you receive all future updates, click the bell button. I appreciate you guys watching.